I believe it's the Pipero, uh, the long wing glider you saw a little while ago, 912 power, that long wing all of a sudden starts racing. We are here at Summit Fun. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking to Rand Balmer about this aircraft where he's in and I'm leaning into. This is the Cenus. And this is the Cenus is the way we say it over in Slovenia and Italy. Uh, Sinus is the way they say it here, but it answers to almost anything. <laughs> there's a couple of this. is mostly the same aircraft that uh, we've seen here for some time, but there's been some changes you told me about. Bring us up to speed, Rand, on what the newest qualities about the airplane are. This model actually started back in the mid-90s and was powered by a little, little Rotex two-stroke. Now it's the uh, Rotex uh, 912 UL, 80 horsepower, and that takes us up to the 120 knot V&E. On the 80 horsepower? On 80 horsepower. Well, I mean, even on the inside here, it's all sleek and smooth. Now, not the seats I'm talking about, but the construction of the floor under Rand's legs and whatnot. And of course, the outside, we're going to go look at the wing here in a few minutes, but uh, it's sailplane-like qualities and for Absolutely. a reason, right? Absolutely. Quality and safety is built into this. So from the parachute that we have, not a standard, but uh, everyone that I've sold has been delivered with a parachute. Great. I'm a we big have parachute promoted myself. The cockpit is all Kevlar. The wings and the landing gear are fiberglass, and the rest of the aircraft is carbon fiber. So they're using all the best qualities of each of the composites in order to get the best blend and the most safe. It's quite a factory. I got a chance to visit there last year in Slovenia. Uh, where the base factory is. These airplanes in the U.S. for LSA are actually coming out of Italy, is that They're correct? coming out of Italy. The parts mostly come from Slovenia, uh, but the assembly is done in Italy. Which is just the way the system can work. In that distance, we flew from the factory in a Virus SW to Italy. Oh, I had to be about 10 minutes of flight. 10, 10 minutes, about 20, 20 miles. So I suppose it's a 20 minute drive or something, a 30 minute drive, but it's very, very close right. to the Italian border. So that's how they're working that deal. Uh, Rand, is there anything different about the airplane that, from what we've seen before and, and while you're describing any differences that you see, tell us a little bit about what your theory on the panel here that you've got designed. Okay, the, I picked a panel that uh, included most of the instruments that come directly from the Alpha Trainer, uh, which is a new one of our best sellers now for flight schools. So you notice they're mainly analog. Right. Uh, I added a small dyne in here so I could drive an autopilot, ah, okay. nice, real nice for cross countries. But uh, this, this particular panel is easy to read, takes a little getting used to the scanning, but uh, people love it once they get used to it because these, these uh, analog dials also have a digital readout. In the oh, in do the they? Okay, yeah, I see that they could have Easy that. to see. They're not lit up here right now. We're out in a place where we don't have electric. Well, I, I have, and I have uh, pulled them. Pull the battery. Yeah, that's all right. all right. That's for safety's sake. That's a good thing to do here. But uh, it's a nice layout and everything. What's this big knob in the center okay, do for Okay, the us? knob in the center is our <laughs> our feathering mechanism. So, all right. So we shut the motor when we shut the motor down. Yeah, I don't flight. know if the camera caught that, but uh, look out at the prop. Uh, let's uh, watch that when he pulls the handle. Okay, put it back prop in. Prop feathers and unfeathers. All right. And so, so the restart takes about two seconds. And and why do you have that feature? People may wonder. Uh, that increases our glide ratio by about three, three or four out of a glide ratio of 28, probably be about 23 or 24 if we didn't have the Okay, crop. and the reason for that is because this aircraft is good at doing some soaring. Flight. Soaring. Is that this, right? This is a glider. It's a self-launch glider, uh, a touring motor glider, most people would call it. I've flown this model from Oshkosh to Tampa nonstop. That's 1,250 miles. Is that right? Wow. Let's repeat that. Tampa to Oshkosh nonstop. Uh, actually, Oshkosh to Tampa nonstop, 9.8 hours. 24.5 gallons of fuel. So it's 53 miles to the gallon and uh, an average ground <laughs> speed of 125 miles an hour. Is that right? That's a pretty phenomenal number. So we number. say it's uh, Prius-like economy at twice the speed. Yeah, right. And uh, when we go out and look at the wing, you'll kind of see why it might be capable of doing that. Uh, anything else in here? Uh, well, a couple of things I'd like you to point out to me. Uh, right here between your legs, you got a little knob down there. What does that do for us? This Rand? is a very lightweight but very effective way to adjust for smaller or taller pilots. The seats don't move. They're fixed in position. Seats are fixed, but we can pull. Oh, wow. Look how close them. those are. Pull Whoa. them. 
that's pull them quite, up that's close, quite a range there. or we can pull them all the way back to there. You don't have long enough legs I, to get all I don't have long enough legs, but I've had a, a six foot seven inch fellow. Is He's that right? a, a fairly lean six foot seven, but he sat in here and he said, it's pretty comfortable. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. That is a lot of range of movement. And I see on my side over here, I can see a series of holes. Do they go to a detent position? There is a detent. You just push until it detents. And okay, then, then it locks down in, so you're not going to, you don't have to worry about a friction lock or something. There's, there's no friction lock. You just release the detent. You can pull them or you can push them when you just hold pressure on the detent. I see, okay. And I want to point out, I want to repeat, I uh, should say, another thing. This is an 80 horsepower Rotax, which happens to be my favorite of the 912s because, well, if there's a bulletproof engine, that's probably it. And you don't need any more than that in this aircraft. And it runs on regular auto fuel right. with up to 10%. Not even high test now. here. You can use 87, 87 octane. octane and so, amazing. you know, that's yeah. another 30 or 40 or 50 cents a gallon savings on top of auto fuel. Yeah. So that's a really good thing. Well, one of the key features that we've been reading about in this particular airplane, because this is the Cenus Flex, to use the whole word. Cenus Flex, exactly. And that means something happens out of the wingtip, so I think we better go out there and have a look. Okay, we can do that quickly. Okay, go. So I've got this thing in my hand here, which doesn't look like an airplane part, but actually is an airplane part. And this is the world's shortest wing with a spar. What's going on here, Ryan? Okay, what this is, this is why we call it a flex, because right now you're looking at a 50-foot wingspan. Okay. This is the sinus configuration. A 50-foot wingspan on this. We talked about it being a motor glider while Rand is wrenching on that. That's how you get such a good glide performance, is by making a long, slender, clean wing. Well, that was just basically a few twists of that throttle, or that tool you're trying to eat there. And uh, did that unscrew? Is that what was going okay, on? There is a spring-loaded hex screw that comes up into the spar. You can see this is spring-loaded right there. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all I had to do was unplug this. Okay. And, did this and that's first. just for lighting at the tip, so you're right. not affecting any control mechanism. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And then the uh, the aircraft is designed so that we can change out. And, and again, here's the flexible screw. And a, this is just a guide pin to help you get it right in the right slot, is it? Sometimes I'm quick with this, sometimes it takes a little longer, but it's you got to kind of jog over into position. It's got to be exactly lined up. This I one see. Is. So we've shortened the wing. We're getting ready to take it off now, but we've shortened the wing by uh, about, about uh, four and a half feet. Four and a half feet. Yeah. On each side, of course, right. so that's a total of about eight, nine feet uh, yes. less. So now you're down to a 42 foot span or something, right. exactly. which means it'll fit in a lot of hangers. It'll fit in almost any T hanger. And it, it, does it fly a little differently with the short wing? The cut? roll rate's a little faster, the, the sink is a little faster. Uh, you go from a 28 to 1 glide ratio down to about a 24 to 1 glide ratio. Okay, so that's so about four points off the glide, right. which is still, still pretty even decent. so, it's mighty good. So let's pull this off and let's see if oh, get the other uh, we get up. We get about four to five knots increased cruise speed. Oh, the and cruise speed okay. with, with this one uh, is actually 115 knots. So you're trading uh, four points of glide for four knots of yeah. speed. Uh, pretty good deal. And I see this all looks like carbon fiber elements in here. Uh, most of it's carbon fiber, but a lot of the skin and the spar is actually fiberglass for flexibility. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. It helps take a lot of the shock of the thermals. Uh, so it actually is very smooth riding aircraft. Okay, so maybe it's just the joiner part out here that's carbon, is it? Uh, I believe it is. On the inboard side, it is. It is uh, okay, so now what we're doing now is we're putting the longer wing back in, taking us back to a 50 foot fan while we're in. There it goes back in. Snapped in the screen. Took out his handy dandy tool. Let's search it down here at the bottom of an opening. And you can feel you're threading it up because you got to you get a resistance to it. You can feel the top, it sits all the way oh, up. Oh yeah, okay. That's that spring loaded part up here that I'm feeling. And the only checks that we need is make sure that it is snug, that this is here, and that there's no friction with the flap around. Well that takes all of the uh, Oh, about 60 seconds, it looks like. We can change the wingtips out from short to long or long to short in five minutes. Wow. On both, yeah, both you got to do both sides. Yeah. And you want to be careful so you don't just rush through. Well, that's great. Okay. So, with the, the long wing, I don't, I don't see how that could fit inside, and I guess that that doesn't fit inside the aircraft. I, we cannot carry the long wingtips in the aircraft. But, but you could go cross country with this one. That's, so that's a pretty small package. Easily into the baggage compartment. Okay. Yes. So, what does this do for a dealer? But for a dealer, it's really nice because you can show two aircraft. You show the Virus, which is our 40 foot uh, touring motor glider, or our Sinus, our 50 foot soaring motor glider, 
and, and with the panel that I've got in here, I can talk to people about the Alpha Trainer because other than the wings, the Alpha Trainer is very much like, like this one is configured. Excellent. Yeah, that's a lot of great information about the beautiful Cenus from Pipistrel Aircraft in, uh, in Slovenia and Italy. Uh, where can we find out even more information about you and the aircraft? Okay. Uh, our website is www.pipistrel-usa.com. That's Pipistrel, P-I-P-I-S-T-R-E-L. Dash USA.com. And Pipistrel, for those that wonder where on earth they came up with that name, I believe is Bath. It, it in is Slovenian at, language. Is in the right? Italian version, which is very close there to uh, Slovenia, it means Bath. All right. I've got lots of information about the Pipistrel airplanes and many other light aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Rand and me here at Sun and Fun. Okay, that motor glide is up there. Air brake time. We'll slow that up and dump that lift. We'll bring that sweet looking aircraft down here. Go right around the corner. You see him sticking up. Just two blocks basically that come up out of the wing. Uses those for glide control. I'm going to go ahead and get a good view of this.